break. Baboons, quickly. <laughs> they're running away from us, everyone, but there they are. Straight to the head down the road. There they go. Thank you, Craig. Let's see if we can catch up to them. Now, the baboons generally are a little shy of the vehicles. They do move away quite quickly, but that's nice. At least we found some baboons, everyone. Oh, I'm starting to panic there for a second. Like I always say, it's too soon to panic. Let's see, so these baboons, during the day they'll move around foraging for food, and then um, later this afternoon they'll head down. Oh, there's a whole troop here, everyone. There's a whole troop here. Hold on, hold on. Let's try to get into a position where we can see them. There we go. We might be able to see a few of them moving through the bush. Now oh, they, um, no, it looks like quite a large troop. So as I was saying, they forage during the day. They're moving around like this. And then what they do is later this afternoon, um, they'll start heading down towards the drainage lines where there's some big trees, probably um, jackalberries uh, in this area, most likely big jackalberries. And uh, that gives them a, a nice bit of cover and a, a big tree for them to, to then uh, sleep in for the night. And then early tomorrow morning, they'll start moving around again and foraging for food. You can see quite a few of them moving through this area. Let's see if we can catch up to a few of them. Now, A Dora, you said you're so excited to see the baboons. That's wonderful. I know a lot of people do enjoy seeing these primates, whether it be the baboons or the vervet monkeys. And it is nice to see them. They are quite funny to watch at times. And especially the monkeys, the baboons too. There's always some behavior going on, some interesting behavior. Now it's difficult to see them, everyone. Uh, there we go. It's because it's quite thick and they're moving through the thicket at the moment. But there are there, there are quite a few around here. You see, they're, they're, every now and then you'll catch a glimpse of one or two moving around. Some chasing each other. Now the one thing though, is the baboons are incredibly alert. So they, um, they will warn each other if there's any potential danger or threat. So any predators around, their eyesight is amazing. Now, these baboons walking around like this on the ground, and they haven't made a single sound. I doubt that there is any predator in this area, because if there was, these baboons would have seen it. And their eyesight is really phenomenal. And they've got this incredible bark as an alarm call. Bow, bow. That's the alarm call that the baboon give. And, um, and if there are any predators, they'll alarm call, and the whole troop then knows that there's potential danger around and then they need to be careful. I'm just having a look. Ah, oh, there we go. There's actually a view of one sitting out in the open. There we go. Craig, how's that? Is that okay? See, they're quite shy. They don't like, they don't like to be seen. Just as we see one out in the open, then they move again. Well, that was a nice surprise, just to catch a glimpse of some baboons and we'll leave them and let them forage. At least we know the chances of a predator being around here are highly unlikely at the moment because these baboons are very relaxed moving around on the ground.